news right now. Former Cincinnati City Council member PG Sittenfeld has just been sentenced to 16 months in prison. Uh, Sittenfeld, of course, was found guilty on federal charges of bribery and attempted extortion by a government official following a jury trial last summer. We do have a team of reporters. Karen Johnson is in the courtroom right now. We'll hear from her as soon as she is able to come out right now. Let's get over to WLWT News Live. Todd Dykes, who has been there. Todd, you've been on standby for a couple of hours. This started about one o'clock. People are starting to file out. We know that PG Sittenfeld has now been sentenced to 16 months. What else do we know so far? Well, yeah, you're right, Ashley. It has been a long afternoon. In fact, a local radio personality, well-known Lincoln Ware, first out of the courtroom as our colleague Karen Johnson's inside uh, the courtroom itself, as you mentioned, and, and Lincoln indicated that 16 months was the sentence. We've now gotten that confirmed from the Southwest District of Ohio uh, U.S. Attorney's Office, uh, Southern District, rather, 16 months uh, after being convicted last summer on one count of bribery and one count of attempted extortion. Of course, all this related to a development project. Sittenfeld maintained his innocence, still claims that to be the case, but prosecutors brought a compelling case before uh, jurors in this federal courthouse behind me last summer. And again, there was a conviction. The sentencing has, has taken a long time. And again, it, was, it took a long time this afternoon. I think perhaps to the surprise of some, not to others. We had heard there might have been a long uh, line of character witnesses speaking on uh, P.G. Sittenfeld's behalf. But uh, according to you know Lincoln Ware, just telling us that it was primarily the lawyers doing the talking today, uh, believe that there still is a, maybe a challenge in trying to get this heard by the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, not exactly sure where that stands at the moment. Of course, the way federal court works, for those watching at home wondering why we haven't been able to show video, well, we're not allowed to have cameras inside uh, the courthouse here in downtown Cincinnati, the federal courthouse. So we've been, uh, my colleague and I have been on the outside waiting to see uh, what was going to be coming out, happening as people started to filter out. And I know Karen is hustling to get down as well. So again, P.G. Sittenfeld, this is a case that uh, dates back to 2018. He was on uh, city council at that time. He was elected to the youngest in Cincinnati council history back in 2011 at the age of 27. He's now 39. Uh, federal agents developed the case against him, claiming that he had accepted about $40,000 in basically, you know, money for in exchange for uh, approving a, a project on Elm Street. And that $40,000 led to that damning bribery charge that he was convicted of by a jury last summer. So 16 months in prison, that is less than the 33 to 41 months that federal prosecutors had recommended. Uh, that would have been about a three and a half to four and a half or two and a half to three and a half year uh, window. But 16 months, basically a year, four months uh, that P.G. Sittenfeld will spend in a federal prison. Now, what we don't know at this moment, uh, this will be from Karen because she's in the courtroom, is whether uh, or not P.G. Sittenfeld is going to be allowed to go home to his family uh, now, basically, or if he's being remanded to uh, prison and to begin the sentence immediately. So I think the word, the thought is, is that he would likely be able to go home, but you never know in these situations. You have to wait to see all the factors that the judge has taken into consideration. We'll know more on that front very soon. For now, reporting live downtown, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5. Thank you, Todd. And of course, stand by right there. Of course, it felt now the second member of, uh, former member of city council recently to be sentenced to prison for corruption. And you talked about those character witnesses that were brought forward today. And I know you weren't in the courtroom, but what was the purpose of the character witnesses? What was the purpose on the defenses they have here? Well, I think uh, the, the brief uh, update uh, that we got from, uh, again, local radio personality Lincoln Ware, who was first out of the building on the Walnut side of federal court, and there are two entrances, and uh, Karen and our colleague Chris, John, or Chris Knight will be on the other side, uh, indicated that, you know, it just to basically to, to describe, you know, P.G. Sittenfeld like Mr. Sittenfeld has tried to express himself as being uh, a good character and someone that really just wanted to serve uh, his city. And again, it is it just uh, really an... A, a, distinctive fall from grace for a man who many assumed would be uh, Cincinnati's current mayor. Uh, of course, straight, our mayor currently is after that pure of all, but uh, we're hearing some sound there. But, you know, yeah, just a really stunning turn of events and all because of this undercover investigation and the, these FBI agents that were able to uh, gather this evidence against Sittenfeld, again, uh, giving him basically three checks totaling $40,000 to do a project with a former Cincinnati Bengal, so the uh, Chenonim and Dukeway, so there are a lot, he's now a developer, so a lot of strange cross currents at play here, but uh, that has now finally come to this resolution, but again, you know, his defense team arguing that this should not be the, the way this has unfolded, but this is where we are. 
And, you know, we talked to a former councilman, Steve Gooden, earlier today, who spent about a year on council, a little more than a year. His time briefly dovetailed with P.G. Sittenfeld. Um, it, Gooden was appointed to council after another council member, Jeffrey Pastor, was, uh, you know, got in trouble down at City Hall. And Gooden said that, you know, 16 months, it, it, since he considered this kind of a low level um, uh, sentencing kind of maximum, if you will, he will likely have to spend at least three quarters of that time, if not more, in prison. So a lot to, still in store for P.G. Sittenfeld, but that, again, Ashley, is the latest from the federal courthouse. All right.